As you might have noticed, uh, in, to the right in the drums section, you not only can trigger a sample, actually you have uh, the, the choice between three. One, two, three. And what that does is uh, basically, let's say you have the, in this case, the E section has the tape kick three and it is set to one at that point. If uh, let's say do a two here, uh, listen what happens. It is playing the the next drum sound in the list, whatever's there. For example, uh, it would then with, would be tape kick four. That's a bit heavy. Whoops. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. As you can see, you can literally automate everything. So let's add some more variation to the to these uh, hi-hats and shakers section over here. Okay, so. What we can use here is, for example, the modulation called double time. Double time for F in that case, because we want to access F. All those uh, modulations are available for every single engine. And you can see and hear what it does. Yeah, that's quite cool. Now let's say I like the uh, I don't like the mixture of levels between the loops and the drums. For example, I want to have the the drums a bit softer or something. I can use this blend knob over here to dial in the amount I want. So let's see. Maybe we can tune down the drums a bit for that. In case we select the all button and then turn down the pitch a bit. That sounds quite funny. Oops, I forgot that I had set a decay, sorry. Where was it? It was over here. Okay, decay F, that's cool. Let's bring a bit of sub. There's the low end. Now let's say I like the uh, uh, the loops that I've chosen over here, but I don't like the drums. I want to change, exchange all the the drums randomly or something. Well, I can always do that here. And oh, as you can see, if I have selected all and then I do uh, d increment or decrement, you see it will uh, do this for all engines. Oh, sorry, it's so easy to get lost in that instrument. So now let's say um, I want to, well, actually that was changing sounds. What you can do as well is um, randomize uh, loops and drums and you can even say, uh, tell it to stay within categories. So for example, we have a bass sound over here selected. Now here we have a processed drums. Here we have some ambience and here we have some processed drums as well. So now I can say only randomize A, B, C, D. So we uncheck that one. And then we have stay within categories enabled. So now if I want to change the loops and press that dice button, you see it will always uh, stay in the category where we still have a bass sound, process drums, ambience. Well, that's great if you want to change change uh, the, the mood and feel of a preset. Uh, if you just want a different mood and feel, sorry, but not a completely different set of sounds. But you can do this as well, of course, if you uncheck the stay within categories. And then we we'll choose complete random sounds, which can also be very cool. Let's do that. That one 
is a bit loud. That's better. Now let's randomize everything at once.